After my studies, when I, I started my career through Fidelity Investment, followed by that, uh, I, I've been the part of ISPR. It's uh, since 2009 I've been associated with it, and we we were there right from the construction of the building to the getting the approval and getting the things in place. We had been a uh, lot of challenges which we faced across. The things how we used to take on is uh, think innovatively. Uh, whatever challenge it might come through, we always used to take it as if it's, you know, uh, it is, we have to get it through. There is no way out. And nobody else than ourselves who could, you know, uh, take on and uh, get, the th get the way out. And uh, that's how we used to take every challenge which used to come across us. And, and, and that's where we learn the leadership quality and we learn uh, how to, you know, uh, can work, any, any person works in a company or anywhere. Then they can either be an employee or they can be a leader. If they want to be a leader, they have to figure out what is to be done, what what the other people would expect. Uh, because every person who is working under you expect that we need to guide them. They will not be able to take on the journey by themselves. So that's where uh, at ISPR, every person who used to work along, we used to guide them, we used to take them across through what they should be doing next. We used to think through what is that uh, we need to be bringing across changes which will bring innovation, which will add on more onto the institution, which will create some change which can impact the students, which can impact the institution on the whole to grow to the next level. So that, that's how we had, and then the same thing took me across in my journey now as an entrepreneur when I'm working, uh, when I'm heading the Gojik Media Private Limited, which is uh, into more into the education and career things. So the, the kind of work which we've been through in our, uh, in my past experience helped me decide and take a leadership role and start guiding my people to take on the journey which will, you know, uh, really create a value towards the product which we have developed. So that, that, that has been my connection between the work which I've been through and the corporate which I'm currently linked with. Generally what happens is, uh, you know, you plan on the future based upon your past experience but when you really take on the journey, right, uh, you realize what are the different hurdles you come across and and my experience of taking on the hurdle on, uh, you know, on the self and getting the through, getting the way out has always helped me in uh, taking this journey as well and when you are in a startup, right, you always come across hurdle every, uh, every second, every minute, you know, uh, whoever you meet through, you look out for the opportunity to get the way out and, and uh, the journey is never safe, uh, it's never you know uh, planned or never rooted. You always be ad hoc when you're at the top level and you be organized when you're at the bottom level of uh, any company. So uh, to work in ad hoc level, you need, to, you need to do innovatively yourself. You have to head it and, and people need direction. The more the direction, uh, direction you can bring across on table, uh, it can create a value. We, 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 uh, someone had said a nice line like, you know, uh, more the leaders, right? More the leader working along with you. Your, your speed of working towards a particular uh, product or anything will be 10 times or 15 times larger than having a team of people who is just working towards it who needs the direction. So we need to create a leader among ourselves. That's, that's the way I take on the learning and I, I always in, emphasize my people to you take on the leadership role and uh, come out with their own innovative ways and take on the journey accordingly. I'm trying to empower my people too, so that you know the product can go to the next level. I, I took on my journey uh, as an IT development, and then I, uh, been, I've been the part of uh, uh, ISBI Business School almost eight plus years. And then when I'm back into the Gojek Media, which is also again into education and career assistance. Uh, so we are very closely connected with education institution. My whole product is around the education institution, helping users, every user who come on a platform to know what skills they would like to pursue in their career. And on those skill sets, we try to help them with different news around it, different article around it, different education course around it, different uh, job opportunity around it, giving them a complete umbrella of exposure around the skills which one or, per one or he or she is interested in to pursue. Every uh, We are also seen that any individual while he's in uh, working, right, he almost switches more than 11 to 12 different jobs. And whenever he's switching around, he always uh, needs to know what differential skill he can bring on table. So he always need to be stay updated around those skills. So we try to help user empower their skills through our platform. So we are back into education, giving them ecosystem around uh, skill sets. We are, we are known to be as 
uh, an education and career assistance. So we assist users to ever come on our platform on the day-to-day -day basis as and when they reach out to us. Passion. Perfection. Uh, I will always like to say that uh, when you fly high, keep your foot on the ground.